All right, let's talk about something that's basically invisible but runs our entire world, the supply chain. And today, we're going to pull back the curtain on the force that's making it smarter, faster, and more resilient than ever before, artificial intelligence. You ever stop and think about it? You click buy online, and a few days later, poof, a package shows up at your door. But in between your click and that doorbell ring, that little box has to navigate a crazy obstacle course of storms, shortages, and all kinds of delays. So how does it almost always make it on time? Well, the secret isn't magic. It's intelligence. We're talking about a system that doesn't just sit back and react to problems. No, this is a system that can actually predict and prepare for them before they even happen. And look, this isn't just some small tweak or a minor upgrade. What we are witnessing right now is a full-blown revolution in how everything we use gets made, stored, and moved around the globe. To be really clear, this isn't about making things, you know, 5% faster. As Throughput AI puts it, this is a transformative force. It's completely overhauling how companies operate and cutting costs in ways that were unimaginable just a few years ago. So what's the single biggest change here? It's all about moving from being reactive to being proactive. Instead of waiting for a shipping delay and then scrambling to fix it, AI anticipates it. It uses data to see around corners, optimizing everything from inventory to shipping routes long before a problem ever hits. But you know, AI is a big term. Not all AI is the same. To really get what's going on, you gotta understand the two main types that are driving all this change. Okay, here's the easiest way to break it down. Think of traditional AI as a super smart historian. It pours over all the data from the past to find patterns and insights. But generative AI, that's the innovator. It takes all that historical knowledge and actually creates new ideas, new strategies, and brand new solutions. One looks back to analyze, the other looks forward to create. But here's where it gets really powerful. It's when you put them together. You get the historian and the innovator on the same team. Traditional AI spots the problem, and Gen AI designs a creative new way to solve it. It's that partnership that EY calls the game changer on the path to a truly self-driving supply chain. Okay, so that's the big picture, but how does this stuff actually work? Let's get under the hood for a second and look at some of the key models AI uses to make these amazing predictions. First up, you've got classification models. Just imagine a global watchdog that never, ever sleeps. It's constantly scanning literally millions of news articles, financial reports, you name it, to flag a potential problem, like a tiny supplier three levels down your chain that's about to go bankrupt. It gives you that critical early warning. Then you have time series forecasting. This is all about looking at historical data to predict the future. It'll see a trend and warn you, hey, copper prices are about to jump 20% in the next three months. That lets you lock in a better price now before it happens. And then things get really specific with regression models. They don't just say, uh-oh, a typhoon might cause a delay. No, they'll predict that typhoon is going to cause a three-day delay, and here's exactly how much revenue is at risk. That lets you reroute everything before your shipment is even in danger. All right, so that's the theory. But does it actually work in the real world? Oh, yeah. Let's look at some absolutely staggering wins from some of the biggest companies out there. Okay, check this out. JD Logistics used AI to optimize every last square inch of its warehouses. The result? A 300% boost in operational efficiency. I mean, that's not an improvement, that's a complete game changer. Or how about Walmart? They used AI to optimize their truck routes, and so far it has eliminated 30 million miles of driving. Just think about that. That's a huge win for their bottom line and for the environment. And this is what happens when you bring GenI into the picture. A big electronics company boosted its demand forecasting accuracy by 50% in just six months. That means way less wasted product and way more happy customers who can actually get what they ordered. And honestly, this one might be the most incredible example of all. Free delay. They used predictive AI on their factory machines. And in the first year, they had zero, zero unexpected breakdowns. The AI saw the problems coming so they could fix the machines before they ever failed. So you might be wondering, if this stuff is so amazing, why isn't every single supply chain on the planet fully automated by now? Well, as you can probably guess, the road to get there has some pretty big bumps. Now you'd think the hardest part would be the AI tech itself, right? But nope, it's the data. Leaders in the field say their number one and two problems are just bad data quality and not even being able to get to the data in the first place. You know, garbage in, garbage out. And AI is only as smart as what you feed it. 
And then there's this pretty startling knowledge gap. Get this, 40% of organizations openly admit they don't really understand the new risks that generative AI brings to the table. We're talking about everything from new cybersecurity threats to major privacy and legal issues. And it doesn't stop there. On top of the data issues, companies are fighting a war for AI talent, they're stuck with ancient computer systems that don't talk to each other, and you've got critical data trapped in different departments that never share. Oh, and yeah, this stuff is expensive to set up. Okay, so with all those challenges, how in the world are some companies, the front runners, actually making this work and pulling way ahead of the pack? Well, it turns out they follow a pretty clear three-step playbook. Here's what the winners are doing differently. They don't see this as just another tech project. For them, it's a core business strategy. First, they get their people and their goals on the same page. Then, they get completely obsessed with the quality of their data. And finally, they build security into the process from the absolute beginning, not as an afterthought. It's the whole package. So that leaves us with one big question. Is this idea of a totally self-driving supply chain just some sci-fi fantasy? Or is it the inevitable future? Because even if that North Star is a long way off, every single step we take in that direction makes our world more resilient. So the real question isn't if AI will run our supply chains, it's how are we going to get ready for it?